the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now the Lord has just spoken with me again. Um, the Lord Jehovah, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Adonai, the Lord Jehovah El Yon, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. He has just spoken with me again regarding what is about to happen to this earth. Well, the Lord has now announced to me officially that there is an earthquake coming to strike Kenya. There is going to be a shocking earthquake that will strike Kenya. Again, the Lord has spoken with me and he put me in that earthquake. There is an earthquake coming to strike Kenya. I saw myself parking my bag and preparing to go to the meeting of the Lord when that earthquake struck. Again, the Lord has now made it formal and official and announced that there is an earthquake that is going to come to Kenya. I have seen that earthquake in the dream. I ran for my life. It was very terrifying. It's a massive shaking. Mm. And it will be a very stunning moment uh, to, to behold, uh, to live, to see in this land. And I have known in the past few days that uh, the Lord has loved Kenya. It is absolute common knowledge to everybody else that the Lord has loved Kenya. And in the way the Lord has loved Kenya, the cloud of the glory that came to the church, settled in the church, into the church, the visitation of the Godhead himself, God the Father, that visitation touched down on this earth, in this land, the visitation that is now transforming the church world over, returning people to righteousness, bringing repentance to the hearts of the people, and laying the instruction of the Lord onto the hearts of the nations. So, for the Lord to visit in that way, that was love, and that is extreme love. This nation has also seen a lot of healing from the Lord, very stunning healing record. The largest number of cripples ever walked in any nation on the earth is here. The largest number of blind ever seen in any nation since the creation of the earth is here. The largest number of HIV healed is here. The largest number of the deaf healed is here. The largest number of everything, every good healing is Kenya has happened here. And so, the Lord, when the Lord brings his mighty prophet and brings him to a land and hosts him there, I think that obviously brings into place, it brings into place a huge responsibility of uh, that land. That land cannot afford to be reckless anymore. That land cannot fool around on matters of worshipping Jehovah anymore. And I think Kenya has been very reckless in the way she has handled her most treasured visitation. Kenya has not paid attention to the responsibility of love that the Lord has laid upon her, the grace that he laid before her to host his mighty prophet that is sent to the nations here. At this hour, Kenya has been very reckless also in the manner in which they have handled the instruction of the Lord and the message of the Lord in this land. Also reckless in the, ways, in the way in which she has handled the healing. There are many, many, many villages in this country that are celebrating the blind that was healed in that home. Homes have been opened and set free. Hmm? Homes have been set free when the deaf 
baby or boy or child finally talks or a deaf person finally hears and talks. Hmm? HIV healed home. Many villages in this land are having big celebrations, weak necks that have been strengthened, a leg that was floppy, floppy and falling away, now strong and walking. This country has recklessly handled the mighty visitation of the loved, beloved grace of the Lord. This country has not known that there's a big responsibility to host his mighty prophet in the land. They have treated him recklessly. They have treated him with, with casualness, casually, and they have not known that when the Lord sends a messenger of this order, of this caliber, it's an extreme gravity that befalls the land. Kenya cannot be reckless in her worshipping of Jehovah, never. And Kenyans are mature people. They know who is in the land. They know who is walking in this land. So they cannot go on fishing around looking for other kinds of worship, apostasy in this land. This land is marked and beloved unto the Lord. The Lord is using this land to launch forth the massive end revival to prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. Anybody, even 12 year old, can just see how the Spirit of the Lord is navigating the mighty servant of the Lord and know that this cannot be ignored. This is of gravity. And so owing to the recklessness in your worship, the Lord has now announced officially that there is a massive earthquake that is coming to this land. May those who have ears listen to the voice of the Lord. And it shall be known that surely in this land, the mighty prophet of the Lord has walked among you.